Welcome to Bliss. Glad you found it. Team Bliss is taking a small break. Do you recognize this place? Lush green coconut groves, water all around. Yes, you got it right. We're in the land of coconuts. We're in Kerala, lazing in the backwaters, having an incredible time, feeling nice and relaxed. Have you ever noticed how the weather outside affects our weather inside? our mood, the way we feel. On a cool rainy day, we feel so excited, so romantic, and the cool breeze on the beach makes us feel so calm and relaxed. And a hot summer day, oh gosh, so irritable, so restless, ready to catch a fight. How the outside weather affects our weather inside is incredible. I just want to ask you a question. Imagine you've had a long, tiring, exhausting week running around, deadlines to catch up, pressures, firefighting. Here comes the weekend. Where would you want to go to relax, to catch a breath of fresh air? Maybe to a place like this, maybe amidst nature, you would want to soak yourself on a beach, maybe amongst lush green trees where there's cool breeze. Guys, we're really lucky because we live in times where we still have these beaches and nature and these cooler spaces where there's a dash of fresh air that soothes us, that relaxes us. Because 20 years from now, we might actually have to go to Mars to be able to catch a place like this. We're so blessed. We're indeed lucky. Because when we go out on a hot summer day, we still carry a bottle of water and not cylinders of oxygen. I was shocked. Canadian air is being sold in China for $20 a litre. Isn't it crazy? Let's look at the weather conditions around us. In the last few years, hasn't there already been a change? Rains have gotten floodier, summers with more heat waves, winters are more snowy than ever before, and the droughts have become more common. What's going on? What's up? Ironic, isn't it, that today, We've reached a stage where we're having to think and talk about our environment. The very precious gift that nature gave to us has become the biggest threat to us mankind, has become the biggest reason for calamities and people dying. Floods, earthquakes, droughts, hurricanes, cyclones, tornadoes, these have become world news on a day-to-day -day basis. The divine has created this space in a perfect way. In fact, the divine made the entire creation just like a puzzle, where each creation is a part of that puzzle, where each creation completes each other and is just incomplete and may have no existence, no meaning without the other. There is a sense of mutual interdependence. We share this space with the other creations. But unfortunately, the most intelligent of the species, the most intelligent us, the humans, began to own up this space. Now, we may want to find someone to blame this on, but actually, shove not the blame to anyone. The fault is of thy own deeds. As you sow, so shall you reap. Whatever I did, for that I've suffered. Let's not blame someone else. We are just living the consequences, the results of what we sowed decades and centuries ago. Are you wondering? How are we responsible for all this suffering? Historically, we chose greed over need, profits over wellness, rule of gold over the golden rule. Our basic problem is, ye dil always mange more. And this need for more and more made us overlook, forget about the fundamental gift we were bestowed with. Our second major problem is that we the people, we the intelligent human race, live with this false ego that I am the king. I am on the top of the pyramid of all living beings. We believe that the world was created to serve us, serve our pleasures. We are driven by greed and ego. Our ego that I am the best. I rule the world. But if we continue the way we are going, let's not forget, nature, just like the creator, will not discriminate between the rich or poor, black or white, men or women, young or old, 
Hindus, Muslims, Sikhs or Christians, but we will equally be extinct. To sort out this greatest challenge to our existence, we will have to seek the Divine's guidance and be inspired. The Divine created a perfect ecosystem. They take in what we give out and we need what they release. What a beautiful codependence. Plants and animals actually follow the Divine's rule. It is we, the people, who break this rule and here we suffer. We, the smartest species of all, don't have ownership, but actually we have greater responsibility. Responsibility to save our environment, our own habitat. And how do we do that? We will need to nurture the two basic principles of contentment and compassion. We will need to contain our wishes and desires and focus on our needs. Let's not forget, rich are not those who have the most, but are those who need the least. Let's remind ourselves, everything was created by the Divine and has the Divine light within. The plants, the animals, the landforms, all were just created in the same light as us. We will need to nurture this compassion for our fellow creations. If we want happiness, we will need to spread happiness. If we need protection, we will need to protect everything that's around us. We've used nature as a credit card and now it's time to make the choice. Choose to act or choose to be extinct. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a better day. Just you and me. We are the world. We are the children. We are the ones who make a better day. Just you and me. We are not apart from nature. We are a part of this very nature. To be in bliss, let's spread bliss. And do continue watching the videos. Like them, share them. And do comment on the videos. Let us know what you think about them. Follow the links on the screen. Have a blissful day and don't forget to pray.